Today I'll be explaining every Requiem original. We'll be starting with Paintball. Paintball is a 4v4 game with two different game modes. Capture the Flag and Team Deathmatch. There's eight weapons in Paintball, being the Paint Pistol, Paint Grenade, Paint Shotgun, Paint Shield, Paint Sniper, Paint Burst Rifle, Paint Grenade Launcher, and Paint Thrower. There's also six maps in Paintball, being Clear Cut, River, Quarry, Drive-In, Homestead, and Spillway. The next one is Paintball VR, and this is literally just Paintball, except you can only teleport. The first quest on the list is Golden Trophy. Golden Trophy has 9 acts, getting increasingly more difficult as you move on. And the enemies in Golden Trophy are Goblin, Imp, Barrel Knight, Elite Imp, Elite Goblin, Elite Barrel Knight, and the Goblin King. And to fight through all these 9 acts, you can use weapons such as swords, bows, crossbows, and shields. The second quest is the Rise of Jumbotron. Jumbotron also has 9 acts with enemies such as the Treadbot, the Batbot, the Elite Treadbot, the Elite Batbot, the Mousebots, the Assassinbot, and Jumbotron. There's 5 weapons you can use to defeat these enemies being the Laser Pistol, the Laser Shotgun, the Laser Burst Rifle, the Railgun, and the Grenade. The third quest is Crimson Cauldron. In Crimson Cauldron, there's 9 acts with enemies such as the Goblin, the Shield Goblin, the Cannon Goblin, the Imp, the Elite Imp, the Elite Goblin, the Witch, the Barrel Knight, the Elite Barrel Knight, and the Witch Boss. And to defeat these enemies, you can use weapons such as bows, swords, shields, wands, hunter crossbows, and regular crossbows. The fourth quest is the Isle of the Lost Skulls. There's eight acts in Isle, with enemies like the swashbuckler, the bottle thrower, the jug thrower, the pirate captains, the gibbets, the cannoneers, and ghost beard. Okay, this is a lot of weapons. Cutlass, stools, brooms, paddles, fishes, pans, torches, bottles, jugs, pirate plates, grog mugs, coconuts, coconut bombs, flintlock pistol, cannons, blunderbusses. Hopefully you can defeat those enemies with that many weapons. The last quest is Crescendo. Crescendo is the largest quest having 13 acts. And in these 13 acts there's a ton of mobs. The pumpkin spicer, the green bat, the red bat, the bone maid, the barrel dogs, the marksman, the maid warlord, the mayor marksman, the president pumpkin head, the baron fire bat, the king barrel dog, and count dracula. That is a lot of enemies you have to defeat. Crescendo also has a decent amount of weapons being the pitchfork, the shovel, the blunderbuss, the whip, the candle stent, the pumpkins, the flintlock, the crossbow, the hunter's crossbow, the jug, bottles, and the pirate plates. Hopefully you got all that. The next one is Requiem Paddle Ball. First person to get the ball past the other player three times wins the game. The next one is 3D Charades. 3D Charades is an 8 player game where a player has to try and build something and after they build something the other players have to try and guess what it is. This is a one team Requiem original and your goal is to get the most amount of points. The next one is Legacy 3D Charades which is literally just old 3D Charades. The next one is Laser Tag. Laser Tag has two maps, Cyberjunk City and Hangar. And it has four weapons being Laser Pistol, Laser Shotgun, Railgun, Laser Burst Rifle, Power Weapon, and Laser Tag Grenade. And in Laser Tag, it's first team to 400 points wins. The next one is Rec Royale Squads. What you do in the game is glide down to the island and try and find chests to get better items. With gray being the lowest tier of weapon and orange being the highest tier of weapons. And your goal is to kill all the other teams and win the game. The next one is Rec Royale Solos. Rec Royale Solos is literally the same as Rec Royale Squads, except you don't have friends. The next one is Bowling. Bowling is a game where each player gets 10 turns. Each turn you get 2 rolls and the player to knock down the most amount of pins wins. The next one is Rec Rally. Rec Rally is a racing game where 6 players race to get around the map fastest. You have to go around the map 3 times to win. The next one is the Rec Center. The Rec Center is a great place to hang out with their friends and check out the latest storefront. And it really is just a good talking place. The Lounge is a free DLC to the Rec Center. Park is a free DLC to the Lounge. The next one is Orientation. Pretty much Orientation is a tutorial to the game where you learn basic stuff about the game. The next one is Dodgeball. Dodgeball is a 3 on 3 game one where you try and eliminate the other team using dodgeballs. First team to eliminate the entire other team 3 times wins the game. Dodgeball VR is literally dodgeball but you can only teleport. Soccer is a 3 on 3 game mode where your goal is to hit the soccer ball into the other team's goals. First team to 3 goals wins. The next one is Rec Room Showdown. Showdown is a 3 on 3 western game mode where your goal is to eliminate the other team. You win this game by either getting 25 points or having the most amount of points when the time runs out. The next game mode is Disc Golf. Disc Golf is a 9 hole course where your goal is to get the lowest score. Disc Golf also has 2 courses, Disc Golf Lake or Disc Golf Propulsion. Disc Golf Propulsion is pretty much the same thing but slightly different mechanics. 
like wind balls or caution blocks. The next one is Stunt Runner, and I can't use Teleport and Stunt Runner, so I'm drifting right now. Stunt Runner is six courses. Each course is getting slightly more difficult as you go on, and your goal is to get the lowest amount of time on each course. The player with the lowest amount of time overall on each course wins. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see three things that Quest 2 players want, click right here.